CataractCoach.com. This is the best of Cataract Coach with our expert panelists, Dr. Rosa Bragamili and Dr. Deepinder Dhaliwal. All right, so we go on. All right, soft PSC cataract. Oh, you're going to really scold me for this one. I got a good, good one coming up here. So typical case looks pretty straightforward, right? This one now, come on. You're not going to do divine conquer on this thing. This is me operating. You can always tell I like diamonds because I'm in Beverly Hills. <laughs> so we'll get a nice good Rexus here. I'm flipping this out of the bag. I'll tell you right now. That thing looks like butter to me. Ooh, oh. Oh. Okay. Striae. Well, okay, what does that mean for the people who are like me who don't know? Because obviously I've, I've missed it. That's zonular issues. Zonular weakness. So is that, that's kind of common in these ultra myops, right? Or these, soft, these, these kind of patients, right? And blue eyed too, so. All but it wasn't that terrible. So I get a nice Rexus done. Okay. So what do you want to do? I'm going to get this thing out of the bag. You still want to do your best stop and chop, DP? I do. I do. Because I, I hate prolapsing stuff out of But what if it's super to... soft? You, you try it's to okay. like make I your do groove? Hydro dissection, hydro de delineation, get that nucleus out, and then just take the epi nucleus. So if you have any concerns about zonular issues, do not prolapse it out of the bag. You want to chop in the bag or do your favorite technique in the Why? bag and keep all the pieces in, causing zonular stability until you're done all your maneuvers and then start removing pieces. Because the epinucleus is gonna stabilize it. Right. Rosa's exactly right. God, I would do the exact opposite. I just get it out of the bag. I don't wanna touch the bag. <laughs> but the bag can then, issues can happen. You're, you're expanding the bag with the epinucleus. So get the nucleus but if, out. If you get it out of the bag, then put viscoelastic behind it and fill up the bag. Again. Yeah, and then put your CTR on. You know, I always get problems from those wrinkly old bags. I'm talking about the, the lenses, not the patients. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna. No, I'm not listening to you at all. I'm gonna get it out of the bag. Mm. There it is. I can just wolf this down. There's no stress on the bag. Look. I'm gonna eat this like I ate my did breakfast. You, did you hydro delineate? I don't know. I just got the whatever came up. It's just gone. It's gone. Boom. It's gone. We're ready for a commercial break here. Okay. So I'm getting this. I'm, now I'm cleaning the cortex. The bag looks good enough to me. I'm pretty happy here. I mean, if it decenters later in life, I can always send it to Saffron. He'll figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're cleaning up here. And luckily, in most of these PSC cases, you can get everything off the bag here. The question is, how aggressive do you need to, can you be actually to clean up that posterior capsule? So we'll try. We'll try. Okay, it looks pretty good. Put the viscoelastic in. Get the lens in. How much polishing are you going to do for you on the posterior capsule? Is this, is this enough? Or should you really clean it up? Here's the undersurface of the anterior rim, a little bit of polishing there. Looks like I'm just going to get the lens in, call it a day. It looks pretty good. The visual good. axis is clear. You're good. Yeah, so, okay, looks like a toric lens. Got to get that in the bag, obviously. Lined up appropriately. Rexus looks reasonable. And I, then, and I, then. Uh-oh. No, 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 okay. I think this was okay still. I would have absolutely put a CTR in this case. Really? Yeah, with those zonules, the, the initial stab. Because do, it's a do, torque also. Do, no do, do you size your, 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 uh, your um, CTRs? Yeah. yeah. Or are you just throw in the small, the, any size? No, I size them like you're supposed to. I just put in the small one or the medium there are one. sizes? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do you decide the size then? Oh, wait, here, I'm trying to. Pa patient now complains of negative dysphotopsia. You tell them to wait till it heals more, explain this is normal and good, perform my exchange, add a piggyback, or tell me to put the cataract back in their eye. <laughs> How do you deal with negative dysphotopsia? I, I counsel them, I educate them, and I tell them it's going to go away. The power of positive thinking. You know, I do a Jedi mind trick. I just tell the patient, oh, thanks for letting me know. Just move on. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thanks for letting me know. No, but I see this. That's, you know what? Everyone has that, but you're very perceptive. You know, so thank you for letting me know. And it, it'll heal up. It'll, be, it'll go away. And, and I always just have them do this, put their hand next to their eye like this and say, oh, it goes away, right? They're like, yeah, it went away. I said, that, then it's totally normal. That's totally fine. It's going to get better as your, as your brain adapts to these images. Yeah, I think I, I very, very rarely do it, like a lens exchange or anything else. I just don't think it's, it's required. So here, now look at this. Now there's some gooey stuff. It's a different case, PSC. I'm doing it. I'm operating, so don't be too mean. Just a little bit mean. And now, what's that thing on the posterior capsule? Should you get that or not? I can't get it up with the aspirator. I would visco dissect it. Okay, there's visco elastic, but I'm still not able to. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to inject some visco elastic. Nothing happens. Did this? Would you do this? A, am I am I being crazy? 
You're gonna peel it? Yeah, oh. sure. I'm gonna show I wanna grab that it? thing. If I can grab that, like, there, I got it. Can I just pull it off? It depends. Does the patient have a vitrectomy or is yeah, it trauma? Yeah, did they have an no. injection? No. Uh, uh, just keep... Oh, oh Uday. Jeez Louise. You wouldn't do this? Am I the only one here who would do this? Neto, you would do this. At least Come put this elastic in the eye. And stabilize that bag so it doesn't wrinkle so much. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, the, the Trindaje brothers taught me just grab it and pull it. <laughs> Grip and rip. So, okay, what do I want to do now? Do you try again with a sharp instrument? Do you use better force than the yank harder? Do a posterior rexus? Do a yag later? Or use the vitrector to cut it out? Just do a yag later. Do you want to try one more time? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. I just, it just bothers me to look at that no, thing. Look, I just cleared my coronary arteries watching you do that. <laughs> and so, no, leave it and do a yag later. After six you too, yeah. No, you could you could just put, expand the posterior capsule with viscoelastic and just try gently see if it if it'll okay. come. But if not, nope. then just you can truncate it and then go ahead. And put the Don't do like a you could do a posterior rex. You could do a posterior rex. You know what? That's a great great option. Why why, why extra you, grief, right? Why huh? the extra grief? Unless the patient can't sit at a yag, like if they've got a kyphosis or they're immobile, then do a posterior capsule rexus. Otherwise, just do a yag down the road. That thing might melt away with steroids. You if you're know. a young doctor, what they're saying is, especially in the USA, wait 91 days and do a yak. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't quite know what that means, that's the one. <laughs> 91 days, not 89. Very important, 91 days. For me, it had nothing to do with billing issues. It had to do with your risk of CME. You yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. So now we're got, okay, now, can I just not have a lens and just in case, can I just kind of pick at it a little bit? Can you just stop? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> and it's a toric lens too, right? Is that a toric lens? Yeah, it's toric. Oh, so I, I definitely don't want to break the bag. Oh my God. I know. See, I told you you'd scold me. So we're trying. You sure? I know, I'm just thinking like, can I just, just, can I just grab that thing? Maybe I'll go under here. Oh, maybe. I can't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> don't watch. Uh -huh. Okay, look, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, oh, don't. Oh. Okay, fine. I just had to try one last time. But it's, it's still bugging me. But I like um, DPs. If it's really bugging you, just go in with some Vano scissors and truncate it, or MST scissors the, the, the and free truncate part. it. The yeah. free part. Well, or you could start your rexus that way, too, in case you mess up. Oh, the post-your rexus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm listening to your advice. 